In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about how to assign variables. Variables are different objects that we create in the R environment that we manipulate to find out more information. First off, let me show you some variables that already exist. So for instance, if I enter any number, it will return that number. It recognizes that as a numeric variable. There are other numeric variables, which are characters. So if I type pi, it's going to return pi to the sixth digit, so 3.141593. These are variables that already exist in the R environment, and it's important that we don't override them. For example, I wouldn't want to name pi as something else. I don't want to make pi 2. If you try to have R return variables that don't exist, you'll get error messages. Object x not found. We can assign variables two different methods. We can use an equal sign. So if I do x equals 1, we'll assign the number 1 to the object x. The other way to do it is to use a left facing arrow with a dash. Both ways will do the same thing, but we're going to stick with convention and we're going to be using this operator as our assign operator. So now x is 1, and we can see it in our environment tab. If I assign a few different variables, now we can do math on these different variables that I just created, and we won't get any errors. So if I try to add 1 to a variable that doesn't exist, object w not found. It can't work because it doesn't know what it is. So now the R environment recognizes these variables. These are known as numeric variables, and we'll get to other types of variables soon. But numeric variables can be manipulated with any mathematic operator. Again, I can return any of these. Why do you think we got this error just now when we try to enter x? It's because I entered capital X, and R is case sensitive. Capital X has no value yet, while the lowercase does. Remember to keep uppercases as uppercase when they need to be, and lowercases as lowercase. Now, we can reassign variables at any time. Currently, x equals 1, but I can assign x to equal y. So now x equals 2, as does y. We can also use the assign notation twice in one line, and R interprets the second one first. I'm going to make x equal 1 again, and then x is going to be assigned y, which is going to be assigned z. Now, I can't really think of an instance where you want to do this, but you never know. I'm sure it exists. So now, x equals 3, y equals 3, and z equals 3. So it interpreted this part first, followed by this part. It's also possible to reverse the assign notation. So if you do a dash followed by a right pointing arrow, we're assigning 15 to x, and now x equals 15. But let's just stick to convention and we'll always do the left pointing arrow. Another way to assign variables is with the assign function. And this generally takes two arguments. So I'm going to give it the name of the variable that I'm assigning and the value that I want to assign it. So let's do 25. And now x equals 25. The reason we use this function is if you're in a for loop and need to assign a different variable at each iteration that's not created yet, you need to use this character string. In this lesson, I gave you an introduction to assigning variables. This is good to get out of the way before we get into anything else.